Hey guys, I'm Lee Lindsay Lewis. My tag team partner at Kevin Heron was backstage a couple weeks ago and we believe he was attacked by Rikishi, so he will not be joining me for the next little while. We hope he recovers well. With that said, welcome to Vintage Podcast Squash Matches, where we'll be making little videos on YouTube and just summing up what our podcast is. Usually they're like an hour long, so we thought we'd just do a little small short videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first edition. This edition is called, Are You Excited for Fastlane? I think we all know the answer to this question, but let's just pretend we don't know it and let's break down Fastlane. Are you excited for Fastlane? The main event of Fastlane is Brock Lesnar the Beast versus Dean Ambrose, best friend of his other opponent, Roman Reigns, the number one guy in the company. That he apparently is an underdog. I don't know if that's true, but uh, they're making they want us to believe that. And what happens to the winner of this match? They get the booked WWE heavy, World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. I'm sure that was uh, such a great way to build up younger guys to be champion by having Triple H win the title. That was a great call. But Dean Ambrose makes an interesting equation to all this because he, he's been getting more and more pops and he can do a lot more things, but there's a, a risk that if Dean Ambrose loses this match and is just kind of pushed away from the title picture, what happens next with him? The, all that work they've been doing, what happens? He's been getting more cheers than Roman. Dean Ambrose is probably going to take the pin, but then what happens? Brock Lesnar doesn't get pinned, so he doesn't lose the match, and then probably Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family attack him, forcing their WrestleMania hand. But Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar, and it could be a cool match, it might not be. Uh, Dean Ambrose probably takes the pin here unless some shenanigans happens, and then they change up the... Mania main event, maybe it's a triple threat or something. Are you still excited for Fastlane? Divas tag team match. Uh, the remaining members of Bad versus Sasha Banks, who's been getting a lot of cheers lately, and Becky Lynch. And I think everyone knows who's going to win this match. <laughs> um, I think this is like the, the easiest match to predict 100%. Uh, so just bet Becky and uh, Sasha Banks. And they fight for the coming weeks on Raw to see who faces most likely Charlotte who's in another who is in a match at Fastlane against the retired wrestler's wife, Daniel Bryan's Brie Bella. That's a terrible build up, but whatever, you get what I'm saying. Um I think I think with Daniel Bryan retiring it adds some stakes to this match that might not have been there, but I do believe that Charlotte will retain in a hopefully a emotional match because you know with Daniel Bryan stuff happening, hopefully she gets the crowd there. Maybe Daniel shows up, that would be kinda cool. Uh if they were gonna pull pull the swerve and maybe have her win the title and then maybe make it a four way for the title at Mania with Charlotte, Bree, Sasha and Becky. That would be cool. I don't know if it'll happen though. What else do we have? We have the newly crowned Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler. I think uh I think I think we're in for a good match, but with without a great storyline, it's hard to get fully invested in it. So I think we're going to get a great match, or a pretty good match with the Kevin Owens win, which leads us to AJ Styles himself, who is fighting Y2J Chris Jericho. I think it's gonna it's their rubber match. They've had one match each. Um, AJ won on Raw in his first match, and then SmackDown was won by Y2J. So now they've accepted this match, Fast Lane, <laughs> the most hyped pay-per-view of the year and Y2J will be facing them. I think they'll have a good match. I think there'll be a lot of good uh, wrestling spots, but I do believe that AJ Styles will win the match and probably go on to the Intercontinental title or hopefully some big big feud at Mania because, I don't know, WWE probably expected some big crowd stuff, but maybe not to this level, I don't know. With uh, So I think they're getting I think they're getting a good return on their money for AJ Styles right now. Let's see how long this momentum happens and what they do with him at WrestleMania. So I do predict AJ Styles will win that match. The New Day on the Cutting Edge Peep Show. And I think this will either lead to a match or will just lead to 10 minutes of shenanigans. And I hope to laugh a lot because uh, New Day has been delivering even in segments that should not have worked, and Edge and Christian, they're always just funny, so I think this will be one of the highlights behind, I'm hoping the main event delivers, or AJ Styles and uh, Kevin uh, Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler could uh, deliver, or even the Divas, um, one of the Divas matches could pull off, but I think this could be one of the, this will be the segment in the night, obviously, and then there is a pre-show match for the U.S. title, Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio, their rubber match, but it's not even a rubber because they've been just going back and forth. Um, but uh, I, I I guess I would have to lean towards Kalisto winning it and being the good guy champion going into Mania, and maybe we'll get a heel, kind of a big heel win for someone 
who they're about to push uh, post WrestleMania season. So I could see them defending that in a four-way match or like a battle royal. Um, so Coliso, but at the same time Alberto Del Rio, they put some good money into bringing him back. So we'll see what happens. So that is fast lane. Are you excited for it? I'm not fully excited for it, but you know it's only 9.99 on the WWE Network, so it's it's not that costly. It's uh, you know the Oscars are next week, so they they don't really have any competition. There is a UFC event that night. Uh, but I don't think it's as big of a main event, so hopefully people will watch it, hopefully it's exciting. I hope it's one of those pay-per-views that you don't fully believe in and it ends up delivering. That would be really cool. So, are you excited for Fastlane? Uh, give us a comment below, uh, tweet at us, we'll hopefully be tweeting all night during Fastlane, and yeah, hopefully we'll do more of these squash videos, and Ke Rikishi, shame on you for attacking my commentating partner backstage, at Kevin Heron. So schoolboy get better and we'll hopefully have you back on the show soon. Guys, are you excited for Fastlane? And are you excited to rev up your engine on the road to WrestleMania? So Fastlane will either be an interesting pay-per-view where it'll get you excited or it'll put, you'll pump the brakes and be like, I don't know about WrestleMania. And in the coming four or six weeks, we will have hopefully a cool WrestleMania with guys like John Cena, uh, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton and uh, potentially even Sting not being in the picture that opens up a lot of spots and that we could be lied to and people like John Cena could come back and maybe we'll get that hyped up John Cena versus Undertaker match which if that match happens unless it was the, uh, either Sting or John Cena if they face the Undertaker I do believe that match should be the main event over the World Heavyweight title match just because it'll have a bigger feeling to that mania because Roman's a, get, becoming a big deal and Triple H you know is Triple H but I don't know if that's going to be the lasting WrestleMania image that you want to send the crowd home happy with the match. So if John Cena, John Cena's were good to go, that would be a great match to, to see. I hear John, um, The Undertaker's in great shape, so this would be the time to have a great match. I hope it would be five-star with just story and heart and having that crowd in. So we're not even talking about Fastlane anymore. So we'll get into that in the coming weeks. Guys, enjoy Fastlane. Get us some feedback. Tweet at us. I'm at the Lindsay Lewis on Twitter, and we are at Vintage Podcast on Twitter as well. So, and give a shout out to at Kevin Heron as well if you'd like. Vintage Podcast. Check us out on Smithy um, iTunes Podcast and Smithy TV YouTube channel, which you're watching this on. So, guys, are you excited for Fastline? Let's have a good time, and thanks for watching. Until next time, Vintage Podcast out.